Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Liam here, and uh, welcome back to uh, a new project and uh, a, a box review, basically. Uh, so, without more waffling, uh, let's get over to the desk and see what's inside the box. In a few. So, guys, uh, this is the next one, and this is the uh, Airfix uh, One Thirty Five Scale Ferret Scout Car Mark II, uh, fictionally known here in uh, Belfast, Northern Ireland, as the Whippet. Uh, very very fond memories of this vehicle back in the back in the 70s and uh, i liked it that much that i bought two of them um so uh, i'm doing a voice over here guys because for some reason my microphone was working when i i first filmed, filmed this so uh, i'm just showing the the boxes the edge of the boxes are uh your standard warnings are on that long end uh the horn hornby trademark etc and then going around to the the short short end and uh, shouting out the uh, kit number, I think that's A one three four nine. Was the same as the box art. The the other short end is the same, and then we have the other long end, which shows you, excuse me, which shows you three options, and then a bit of bump about the about the vehicle. Given the um, the humble paints call out again, I won't be using them. And it's two flying hours and a skill level two. Um, so it should be all good. Uh, I'm probably going to do A and C as I've got two two versions of the vehicle. Um, and I'm going to try and do them uh, at the one go. We shall see <laughs> how that turns out. Um, so as I say, just um, just showing showing you the options there that I'm going doing. Okay, now so we're going to flick open the box again. Uh, Typical Airfix fashion, one one bag of sprues, the instructions as well. Put them to the side for the minute. So um, slit open this uh, this bag and watch your fingers. <coughs> and I think there's about there's about six sprues in here, uh, plus a clear um, clear sprue for 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 lights etc. So counting two, three four five and six if you count the clear parts so six sprays of plastic uh in that sort of olive olive drab green mulberry green type of thing so i'm just looking through uh each sprue here uh not in any particular order um and hopefully uh, um i'll put the yeah, so that's sprue d <laughs> found that so generally um very nice detail very crisp um, I think this was um, a 2023 tooling, if I'm correct. Um, I need to check that. But, you know, just, just looking over the parts here and very crisp, very new looking. Uh, not much flash on that, uh, on that sprue. Moving on to the next one now, and this is our wheels by the looks of this. And this is sprue C. Um, yeah, all, all very nice. Uh, you're going to have a joint line when you put the two two parts of the wheels together so need to figure out how to clean that up uh make it make it nice but yeah again all very crisp all very crisp very little flash and uh nice some nice detail uh next sprue then is sprue b i think that is uh let me see yeah sprue b he has it upside down or I have it upside down, but again, um, yeah, nice detail. Don't know what parts of these are at the moment, um, but no doubt once you get into it, they'll all fall into place. Very good. Next sprue then is, um, I don't know because I can't see it at the moment. <laughs> Liam, Liam, show me, show me what sprue that is. But again, just going through the parts, it right? looks like the turret, uh, all very crisp and nice, good detail. Uh, with a machine gun there, I think as well, and then the final final sprue, I think is sprue A. It is, yep, top right hand corner, and then this is the main body of the vehicle. There's the back end and pointing out. <coughs> Again, all very, all very crisp, and uh, nice detail. Um, so uh, hopefully this will go together without too much drama. Uh, I didn't look at the the clear parts. Um, I'm, I was just concerned. Um. I want to try and keep this under 10 minutes. Uh, it's only a quick parts review. So now I'm going to look into the instruction booklet. Um, 
and we have the we have the decals uh, inside. Um, not many details decals, which is good. I don't like too many of them, but uh, I wasn't sure whether these were Carograph or not. I'm, I'm assuming they are. It doesn't say, but they they look nice and crisp. And um, for your 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 three versions of of the Whippet or for Sky Car. So just pop them away and then we'll uh, we'll jump in the instructions. Um, typical uh, Airfix, love these um, A4 sort of sheet booklet things. Uh, bit, of, bit of gunf on the front there about the vehicle. <coughs> I believe it was in, in the Iraq War in 1990. I didn't know that. I thought it was retired, this vehicle. Um, uh, after the sort of 70s, if you like, when it was knocking about Northern Ireland and the streets of Belfast. Uh, I can still hear the whine of the engine in, in my head. Uh, so, uh, typical, you know, step by step guide here from from Airfix. Really good. Uh, pointing out the part that you previously um, positioned in in red, and then the callouts, the color callouts. Um, you'll see me in a minute getting a pen, hopefully, and uh, I I just highlight them, so I, I don't miss them when I'm I'm putting it together. And what I normally do is then I would um, I would put the the Tommy equivalent or whatever I have equivalent to to match that color. Uh, you see, I'm, I'm highlighting the, the the pictures now or the paint paint callouts. Uh, I didn't I didn't do that now at the moment, so I'll go back later on and I'll go right through the the the. Don't know what I'm saying here, so uh, I think we'll cut that out. Um, and um, we're we're just going through. Going through the uh, the the instructions. <clears throat> there we are. Just circling a few more numbers of colours, and then I, I didn't spend much time going through this instructions. I'm sure you guys have seen this before, um, and 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 I'll just flick through the pages. There's quite a lot of steps in it now. Um, I think there's over ninety steps on the. Um, on the instructions um, for such a small vehicle, um, but I'm assuming that's just the, the part count. So again, just flicking over the pages, not spending any much time, much time on 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 these. Uh, just trying to 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 show the step by step guide, <coughs> uh, and again the the callouts, the the, the paint callouts. It actually is a, a a symbol with a brush. Um, I, I probably won't use. Too much paint. I'll probably use those AK colors, the smaller detail. Um, I think they're fantastic for that, but not for big, big areas. I'll, I'll spray paint that. So, yeah, not not too much uh, to talk about here, really. Just going through the different steps, building up the vehicle as you go along, uh, and you can see there now we're at the stage where the whip it or the fur, whatever you want to call it, is taking shape. Um, pretty good. Uh, I'm re really looking forward to building this actually. Uh, and I'm gonna, as I say, I'm gonna try and build. I've got two kits, and I'm gonna try and build the two at the same time. See how we get on with that, <coughs> and then do it in option A and C. Uh, option C being the Cyprus one, and option A being the West Germany one. I think if memory serves me right. So yeah, just going through here now. Um, and um, it's looking really good. Uh, just different parts of the of the vehicle. Not spending too much time on on going through this at the minute. There we are. We're at the turret, putting the the, the burning gun in. And um, yeah, looking well. The vehicle looks well. Uh, I'm just doing some more. Color callouts. I say I'll go through this booklet uh, later and um, get them all 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 ringed out and highlighted for me. And there, there we are at the end of the instructions board, more or less. Uh, and there's the and there's the ferret, all finished, lovely looking vehicle, really nice, <coughs> unusual shape, but uh, I like that. I like that that unusual shape. So really nice wee car. And then we're on to our options. So we've this is the West Germany option. The um, can't remember. It's not an olive drab. They call it an R color. Humber called it another color. But to me, that looks like an olive drab. <clears throat> so that that's uh, option A, which was in Germany in sixty one. Just the, the same age as me. Uh, 
and uh, pointing out that colour. Um, I can't remember what they call it, but it, it's not olive drab. And that's a that's a really I just like that plain, that plain green, and then the the black ways quite quite nice. And then option B is the the training vehicle in 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 Canada. <coughs> Don't remember the year again. That's quite distinctive too with the red tur- turret and the red the red sides. And then we're on to the Cypress in seventy. I think that says seventy four. I can't remember. Uh, that's the white the white color again. Um, I think this was the Para Fifth Para Brigade used this vehicle, so um, I, I quite like to do that. Although white will be difficult to to do, um, but hopefully we'll be we'll be okay with that. And um, there you are, guys. So so that's um, that was a, a run through the um, the the ferret, and um, I'm just. Closing off the video here now and just saying thanks everybody for watching and um, hopefully you enjoyed that and um, please look out for it when it comes on the channel and uh, all good. Thanks.